Why do you think Cole Reach is still an effective play then for B2B marketers today? Yeah, I mean, listen, when I think about marketing, you know, uh, there's always um, this idea of balancing, uh, you know, paid and organic. And, you know, you should always have both in tandem. I think the same way about inbound and outbound. And I think the more we can apply marketing principles, um, outbound principles to marketing, so more of an outbound marketing methodology to offset what's coming in through inbound, the more opportunity you're going to bring into the pipeline at the end of the day. Um, there's also something to be said about controlling your own destiny. Inbound, you get what you get. And yes, as marketers, we're constantly trying to fine tune to make sure that we're bringing in quality inbound. But let's be honest, a good portion of inbound is sometimes crap, right? And so with outbound, it's like, you know, these are your tier one accounts. These are your tier two accounts, et cetera. And you are going after them proactively to try to get them into the pipeline, even if it ends up pushing them to the inbound funnel. So be it. Um, but I like that you get to control the destiny there. I like it. And and certainly with inbound, when you're thinking about things like SEO and, and sort of targeting yeah. content around certain keywords, it's not getting any easier, is it? It's not, no. And people are catching on to the tactics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they know, they're not stupid. <laughs> they know That's what's right. happening to them. And for companies trying to emulate HubSpot today, they're going to have a really, really sort of a, a, a tough challenge, um, certainly. Yeah.